Hello friends and welcome. Every feature on our face is beautiful, but there's something about full lips that's universally appealing. So it's not surprising that lip plumping products are all the rage. While some people are born with naturally plump lips, others of us have a thinner mouth or lose collagen over time. As we get older, we may notice our lips getting thinner, more uneven, and even downturned. It's rather interesting that the lips of girls reach their maximum thickness at the age of 14 and stay that way until age 16. And after 16, the slow process of thinning occurs throughout the rest of our lifespan. If only that thinning occurred on other parts of our body, right? But fortunately, there are a variety of things we can do to help our lips look their best. And that's exactly what we'll focus on in today's video. But before we launch into a lowdown on lips, let me first welcome those of you who are new to this channel and welcome back, those of you who are returning friends. My passion as a makeup artist is helping all of us over 50 look our very best by using makeup techniques and products that will help us look and feel more confident. So if this focus matches your interests, please click that subscribe button before you leave today. Now, I do have to apologize for bringing back the sunglasses once again, but trust me, you would not want to see what my left eye looks like. My poor left eye has already undergone two surgeries in the last seven months, which were planned, but the need for retina surgery was a bit of a surprise. But fortunately, the problem was discovered early and it's healing nicely, but that healing does take some time. So you'll most likely see these sunglasses at least one more time. So I apologize and appreciate your understanding. But now let's talk lips. What happens to our lips as we age is that the supporting collagen, fat pads, and muscles in and around the lip area steadily diminish, resulting in thinning lips that are more visibly lined. But there are a number of ways that we can stimulate collagen production to help our lips look better. Foods that are high in sulfur content can help, such as cabbage or garlic, beans, cucumber, asparagus, and kale. And daily vitamin C can also help, which we can get through citrus, bell peppers, broccoli, and spinach. And we can create the best environment for collagen to develop by staying hydrated. And then, of course, there are a variety of treatments that can stimulate collagen production, including microdermabrasion, chemical peels, superficial laser resurfacing, and microneedling. For some people, fillers, which can last six months to a year, are an option to increase lip fullness. But it is pretty darn amazing what the magic of skin prep and makeup can accomplish for our lips. If you've never exfoliated your lips, I hope you'll consider giving it a try. That's because exfoliating removes dry skin, which helps prevent chapped and dry lips, and it also makes our lips look and feel wonderfully soft and smooth. And smooth and soft lips make it easier to apply lip liner and lipstick. Luckily, there are some great do-it-yourself exfoliating recipes. The easiest homemade lip scrub I've found is to mix one teaspoon of honey with two teaspoons of sugar. Then you massage the mixture into your lips and leave it on for 10 minutes or so. Then remove it with the help of a washcloth. Sugar is a very effective natural exfoliant, and when mixed with honey, it becomes a great moisturizing lip scrub. Well, I've whipped up this lip scrub and I'm going to massage it onto my lips, but before doing that, I want to just lightly scrub over my lips with this toothbrush. This will get rid of dry skin so the lip scrub can be even more effective. And here's my honey sugar mixture. Now I'm going to go ahead and massage in the honey and sugar exfoliating lip scrub. And it sure smells wonderful, I have to say. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on for 10 minutes, and then I'll be back, and we can see if we notice any difference. Well, I can certainly feel a huge difference in my lips, and I think the only way to describe it is to say that they feel pillowy soft. And I also want to mention a commercial lip scrub, which I absolutely love. This is from a company called Three Graces, and it's their Radiant Lip Scrub. And of course, I doubt if any of us can do without a hydrating lip balm. My lip balm of choice is this little beauty called the Naked Bee. Their lip balms come in a variety of scents, but my all-time favorite is their Coconut Honey, which I'm going to go ahead and apply right now. Oh, I can actually feel how much smoother it is to put the lip balm on my lips than it was before I did the lip scrub. That's pretty interesting. 
That feels so good and I cannot resist the coconut smell. And then we can use the magic of concealer, lip liner, lipstick, and gloss to also make our lips look fuller. Lip liner can not only help our lips look fuller, but it can also help us even out our lips and help downturn lips look more upturned. And there's even one lip liner, L'Oreal's Age Perfect Lip Liner, that can help prevent lipstick from migrating into those vertical lines that can develop around our mouth. To demonstrate the difference lip liner can make in helping our lips look fuller, I'm going to outline my lips with lip liner in two different ways. I'll first outline my lips the way we would normally do it, by following our lip line. My first step is always to apply concealer, which I've already done, and I apply it all the way around the edge of my lips, which helps the lip liner go on more easily and also fills in any vertical lines around my lips. Now I'll go ahead and apply the lip liner right along the inside of my lip line. And this is a color called Radiant Plum. And I'm going to blot off a little bit of the lip balm since I have a little too much on there. It felt so good I couldn't help myself. Now I'm going to wipe this lip liner off and apply it in a slightly different way to make my lips look fuller. First I'll reapply the concealer and then I'll apply the lip liner along the outer edge of my lips. But it is very important to only overline the center top and bottom of the lips and not the corners. We want to follow the real lip line on the outer corners because if we overline the corners of our lips, it can make our lips look too wide and frankly a little like fish lips. Just this small change in where I'm applying the lip liner can make a noticeable difference. Now let's go ahead and compare the look of the lip liner applied along the inner edge of the lips and with the lip liner applied on the outer edge of the lips. It's a subtle difference, but it is noticeable. One other interesting illusion we can create to add more fullness to our lips is to fake a shadow above the center of our top lip and below the center of our bottom lip with a darker colored concealer. Normally I do this before using a lip liner, but I'll go ahead and do it now just to demonstrate so you can see the effect. With a very thin brush, I'm going to add just a very small amount of this slightly darker concealer below the center of my bottom lip and above the center of my top lips, and then I'll blend it in. And I'm going to use a Cool Tone Deeper Concealer from this face palette from Makeup Forever. This is the one I'll be using. And I'm going to use this very thin eyebrow brush from ABH. It's their number 7B. And I'm going to put it just below my bottom lip line. Do you see how this creates a shadow? And I'm just going to blend it in. Then on the top of my cupid's bow. You can also add a little bit of powder over it, which also helps lipstick from migrating. And now I'm going to add my regular lipstick. I'm first going to apply this lipstick from Lawless, which is a clean beauty brand. It's called Little Lady Daisy. Over it, I'm going to apply a slightly darker lipstick, which unfortunately is no longer available, but it's one of my favorites. It's from Huda Beauty, and it's called After Party. 
and you can see it's quite a bit deeper so I'll get more of a medium tone look once I add this over the light pink. Adding light to the center of our lips with a lip gloss can also help our lips look fuller. But we do want to keep the gloss away from the outer edges of our lips where we've overlined the lips and added a darker concealer fake shadow because gloss will draw attention to those areas. I've already filled in my lips with lipstick and now I'm going to take a photo and then I'll add gloss and take a photo and we'll compare them. And now I'm going to add gloss to just the inner center part of my upper and lower lips. I'm using another product from Lawless. It's their Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Gloss. And this is also in the color Little Lady Daisy. Now let's compare the two pictures of my lips with and without lip gloss and see what we think. Now let's address the issue of how to help downturned lips look more upturned. It's all about where we apply both concealer and lip liner to our bottom lip. First I'll apply concealer so it covers up only the top outer edges of my bottom lips. So I'm basically going to take concealer and blot out this part of my lower lip. Just the outer upper part of the lower lip. So I think you can see that I've basically erased my bottom lip line on the outer edge. Next I'll apply lip liner but I'll bring it up before reaching the concealer. This creates an upward rather than an outward line to our bottom lips. And now I'm filling in my lips just to where the lip liner turned up. This little makeup trick to make downturned lips look more upturned can really make quite a difference in our appearance. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so please let YouTube know by hitting that thumbs up icon. And if you have a friend or family member who might also enjoy the tips and techniques that we cover on this channel, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd invite them to be part of our family here. Until we see each other next time, I wish you good health and happiness and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care.